Uh, this is the first iteration of the Ocean Kayak Malibu 2XL catamaran. As you can see there, it's quite a nice, simple construction. Uh, it's fairly robust, there's been three of us on it, there's no issue at all with buoyancy, it's rigid enough. The first instance we've got it out, what we're doing is we're having a wee look at, look at the strength of it, uh, seeing how it holds up just with paddling. Next stage will be to put an electric motor on it and then finally what we do fancy is getting a little petrol outboard. As you can see there, it's quite simple, it's very much a reconditioned boat, uh, recycling, uh, or upcycling should I say. Uh, the, the only kind of parts that were bought to put it together, the ratchet straps had come from actually transporting them, so that was something that we already had. Uh, the, the two cross timbers here, 2.4 metres, they were at B&Q and I think cost £7. And I think I probably was about £15 in bolts. And the reason I use bolts is the whole centrepiece comes to bit. At the back, that small mount will take the electric motor. I just don't have it with me today because I didn't have a battery. That's still got to be tried and tested. It paddles fine with two people. I reckon it'll hold four people no problem. I need to consider looking at where the seats go and the positions go on it. But I have to say it's very robust, it's very stable. You can stand on it, you can stand on one pod yourself. And you get absolute stability. There's no rock on it. Don't get me wrong. Today's been a very calm day, uh, but it's uh, it's been no problem to paddle. I'd imagine with a bit of chop, a bit more work. But again, the plan is is ultimately put an outboard. So for a first outing, it's been quite successful. You'll notice on the edge what I've done with the timbers. I say there's nothing fancy, and ultimately, if we're going to stick with this configuration, the timbers will need to be treated. But as I say, this was a pilot. Uh, just to see how we got on with it. You'll notice what I have done is such some detail in there. Uh, that's been sanded down. Uh, it's been sanded down just to basically stop the, the ratchet straps from slipping about. And again, we've got the ratchet straps to the top so they're accessible and can be tightened. I haven't found a great deal of stretch. We've been out in it for about an hour now. There's not a great deal of stretch and it seems to have been quite successful. Uh, the bolts, the bolts we're using is the main bolts holding the, the frame together, there's four of them, but I'm using an M8 bolt, uh, which is an M8 bolt, I think it's 110mm in length, and the smaller smaller bolts that are holding the panels on their M6s. The, the reason being for it is because it all fits in the car. The proposed, the proposed plan is ultimately to have a catamaran that takes an outboard, uh, one of the boards we're considering is perhaps a 6 horsepower, it would take a 6 horsepower outboard, uh, I'm not sure yet, there's something I need to look at first, the electric one first, I'm going to see if I get a loan of 2 or 3 horsepower, see how that goes, and then kind of push it up, not going to do anything drastic, uh, and I'll need to do a few more testing. Again, ultimately, if this works, what I'm doing is looking at reducing the weight by using alternative materials. I have to say, I've seen others that have made them, and there's no criticism of them, but a lot of people have seen drilling the kayaks themselves. I've seen, I've used the foam underneath the timber, help distribute the load, and again, I think by using the ratchet straps, I'm distributing the load much more evenly across the kayak as opposed to drilling a couple of metal bolts into the plastic. So as you can see, it's quite an attractive looking looking thing if that's what you're into. So obviously not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Obviously changes the dynamics of it quite massively from a conventional kayak. But certainly this is a platform that I'm sure you could fish all day from in total comfort. Again, as it stands just now, I've put the original seats in, but one of the other possibilities here is on the cross members is actually to put more of a structure that actually sits over the kayak and considering putting raised seats again for fishing this might be a more comfortable way to do it.